Today, we're going to be looking at a parable uh, that Jesus taught his disciples. And for me, a parable is just simply a earthly story with a heavenly meaning. The parable is about a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And this story is often looked at regarding a builder. Yet Jesus is right at the start. He's asking his hearers to bear in mind that they need to put into practice what they have read. His word. We are building our house on a rock. Or are we building our house and our lives on sinking sand? All through life, people feel battered and the place of refuge is a question for many people. For refugees around the world today, where is there a safe place for me to live and work? In Psalm 46, David says, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. I can remember a a number of years ago now when I was at Bible College and we lived in Belfast in Northern Ireland. And one evening we were sitting in our home And the windows and the doors began to shake just before we were plunged into an hour or so of darkness. My uncle was with us at the time and he was just surprised at our calmness. It was nothing new to us. It simply meant that there was another bomb that had exploded in the city. The next morning, I went into the city centre and I saw the theatre and the walls were blown apart. And there were in the middle of the street, there was a burnt out car, the cladding and the debris on the ground outside the Europa Hotel. The foundations were shaken and some walls had crumbled and all the buildings around. At the end of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus shares a parable about having this firm foundation. The wise builder who had built his house on a rock withstood the storms. But the house that the foolish builder built on, the sand, did not survive. I remember as a young boy, years ago now, building sandcastles with my grandpa and then later on with my three boys, trying to put a wall around a sandcastle, trying to, what we would call it, battling the tides. We had hours of fun just building the sandcastle and building the wall, thinking that it would be high enough for the incoming waves and the tide but the incoming tide swept away all those things that we had previously built the tide then retreated and it left a sandy beach a golden sands all was level and smooth as though nothing had happened previously when we went back just to see with a glimpse of hope that just maybe the wall had survived and even the castle. But yet it was as though no one or nothing had ever been there before. Over the years I've had different jobs and one of them was working in a large architectural practice and we were working then on a hospital called Cromwell Hospital in London where the foundations were so deep that we had to work with the London Underground as the piles, the foundations, needed to be drilled safely 
to miss the tube network that lay below. In the church, we have got an ancient hymn with a very famous verse that says, The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word, and from heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. As we consider today our faith, we can live our lives with confidence when we live according to the word of God. Amen.